Hey everybody, Chris Farad here, and welcome to Amnesia the Bunker. If you recall, a few months back, before the game released, I actually made a video on this, a pretty long one. Had a great time with it. Didn't get a chance to finish it, got caught up in other things, and now I'm back. We're gonna play from beginning to end. And I'm gonna put these videos out pretty quickly over the next few days. Uh, in January, I've got my schedule planned, and there's some exciting stuff coming, but I've got a little bit of a lull in releases right now. And I think this is going to be perfect to jump into Amnesia the Bunker. So we're going to start a new game and I'm going to have to relearn a lot of things. But the one thing you guys don't need to relearn because I know you know what to do is set the vibe. If you don't know what that means, it's lights off, headphones on, volume up. That's the best way to play these games, I swear. Or, you know, under your sheets, full lights on, no clothes. I don't care. As long as you're having a good time. As long as you're having a good time. Uh, we're gonna override this one. All of my save progress, gone. Should we play on hard? Yeah, I think we should. I think we should. Oh my god, this is gonna be bad. Hints, game pausing hints, subtitle, vibration, all of it's good. To survive this war, you'll need two things. First, a basic set of skills. Second, Good goddamn sense to do whatever's necessary. I can teach you the first. The second is up to you. Let's move. Now, one of the nice things about playing this a little bit later after release, they've been doing a lot of updates to it, and I feel like now we're gonna get the best experience. And I'm pretty excited for that. Oh boy. Pull down R to check how many bullets you've got. Oh yeah, right. Oh yeah, this is this is where things they always get intense in these games because you have to almost manually do all the things. But it'll be fine. I never panic ever, so what could go wrong? The open doors, and containers interact, and then move the mouse. Yeah, got it. Oh, that was weird. Much different from previous Amnesia games, if you're not familiar. I won't say too much. There's a lot that I don't recall from our time with the uh, early access. But it's re it's oh my god! Whoa! Anybody else? You've been injured, whole tab to see how bad it is. I keep the cover from up here! I keep pushing forward! I got two fingers and a thumb worth of blood. I'm gonna say pretty bad. That's so cool, like how you empty the shells. You just picked up an item that can be used for crafting. Pick up the other cloth piece and press tab to access your inventory page and combine the two cloth items to craft a bandage. Okay. Combine, we got a bandage. You can assign hotkeys. I'll put the gun on one, bandage on two. You gotta ready the item first.
Oh man, I'm so happy to be back in here. Uh, let's go ahead and put these on, well, let's put them on three. Is this being blocked? Well. Not anymore. We can shoot this or we can use a grenade. I guess we'll shoot it. And pretty soon we're going to get into the bunker. You see that? Oh, jeez. Is that good or bad? Here. No. Get this up fast, fast. No dying on me. We'll make it out of this hell together. I follow me. We're nearly there. That roll, my friend. There you have it, huh? Ah, fate's a bastard. I'm on patrol tonight, then. Say that. now. Looks like he'll be fine. He looks so young. I'll get you back to safety. Just hold on to me. Okay, we got him out of there. Like that. <laughs> Learn, adapt, experiment, survive. So, there's a lot of different ways to accomplish things in Amnesia the Bunker. And it's kind of one of those things where, if you can think it, you can probably do it. 
But everybody's run should look and feel quite different. All notes you pick up can be found under the notes tab of your inventory. You can go directly to the note that was picked up by pressing tab while the icon's flashing. Okay, so we're going to go through every note that we find. And from what I remember, there's some like hints and stuff in these notes and like linking people together and kind of figure out what's happening. Uh, amnesia cause. Soldat Clement admitted to medical treatment following events of 9th July. Personal effects held in the storage locker. Uh, patient remains in weak coma state. Will respond to stimuli, but only for brief periods of time. When last roused, he reported no memory of recent events. Had trouble recalling even his own name. Most likely due to severity of initial head trauma. Will continue to monitor. If status does not improve in a week's time, recommended transfer to St. Etienne for neurological tests. This is signed Jozinski. And uh, each of the notes are assigned to people. And then you can also flip to dates, which is pretty handy. Really? Nothing? Now these holes are going to become very important in the future, I remember that. And not fondly. If I might add. I have to bring out or put away the flashlight. Ninth now, of July, nice. 1700 hours. I'm in a state of agony. It cripples my body, captures my mind, bleeds my soul. This thing I have done. This thing, this thing. It is lunch in the mess hall currently. Oh, the thought of eating repulses me. This thing I have done, this thing, this thing. Okay, we'll have to find out. Hold down after to charge the flashlight, but be careful not to make too much noise. All photos that you pick up can be found in the photos tab of your inventory. Jeez. Okay. By the way, some of the theming in this game, uh, if you didn't pick it up already, pretty heavy. Okay, so we need a key for that. Here's the mess hall. Let's just see what else we have here. It's blocked. Another big hole there. Nope, oh, this is a good sign. Definitely. Is someone there? Oh my god. I am over here. Oh, he. oh boy. <laughs> Thought I was the last one. behind them.
you want to escape, you need to blow it back open. There's dynamite in the arsenal. Ah, and a handle to trigger it somewhere in the excavation site. Get them, and you can make it out. Oh, shit. That thing, it's coming for me. Here, take this. Finish me off, please. Oh my I god. I die at the hands of a border soldier, not that monster. There's ammo in the pantry. Get it. Do the job, please. You can press T. Oh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. I forgot about that. Cool. Well, on the plus side, I've got two bullets. So we need to get dynamite and we need to blow our way out of here. I think we can... I think we can shoot these, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. But the problem is, is it's loud. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I, I hate... I hate the feeling of being chased. And we're gonna have that so much. That other door. It was blocked over here, right? I don't think we have a way to get there. Not yet. Okay, now this, this is our like safe area. I don't know if it always remains that way, but... Okay. Note from head clerk, RE dog tags. When processing deceased soldiers, please check the reverse side of their ID tags for any messages, symbols, or locker codes. These are to be wiped clean before the tag is preserved and recorded. And that's good for us because there are going to be lockers that we'll find. And these are different every playthrough, from my understanding. Um... Nothing on this one, of course. I'll take it. You can save your progress by lighting this lamp. Nice. Okay. So here's our map currently. It'll be updated with objectives and details as you progress. There's a hint in the generator room. You can see all the spots that we've been already. This box is used for storing things from your inventory because, as you can see, we don't have a lot of space for things to be carried around. Rats and burnt corpses. Update to all medical and mortuary personnel. The rat problem has not gotten any better. They're swarming every dead body. They're even coming after the wounded. But the vermin have no interest in flesh after it's burnt. So a new policy must be instituted. The bodies of all deceased soldiers must be burned. I've spoken to Father DeRays about this matter. He will provide proper consecration for the deceased. Remains will be preserved for families. This is not ideal and it fills my soul with pain, but burning the dead seems to be the only way to stop the rats from coming. So burn them we must.
<laughs> pocket watch. Okay. So, uh, a pocket watch with stopwatch functionality. I remember having some troubles with this when I first tried this game. Can be synced with the generator to time how much fuel remains. Um, so let's put this on... Let's say... Let's put this on three now, I guess. Get a closer look at the pocket watch. Aha. Okay. So, Frilu gave us a code. 4533. This should be in the inventory here. 4533. We have some fuel. And we can fuel that thing. But let me just see if there's anything else happening here. Fuel and fire. Generator fuel is extremely flammable. Do not light any fires near the fuel. Do not fire any weapons near the fuel. For God's sake, do not even smoke your cigarettes near it. Store it only in sturdy metal canisters. Glass breaks far too easily. If it spills, wipe the area clean immediately, then dispose of the rags outside the bunker. So we can move some pretty heavy objects as well. Use our other one. And then if we bring up this, I believe the idea is we can sync this somehow. There we go. Deadly. Okay. So now the generator is on. That's got, that's going to turn on some lights. Make us feel a little bit safer. And I feel like that's going to be really important to manage. Now, this could be the code that we got, actually. 4533. Yeah, it is. Okay. What was that? So it wasn't a locker or anything. I'm going to just keep that closed. Keep that open. You can overcome most obstacles in multiple ways. Use your wits and your brains. Experiment. If you think something might be possible to do, it probably is. Okay. Arsenal's to the left. We know that. Exit is this way. If we want to just get a quick look at what we might be dealing with down there. It's probably worthwhile. How to get the hell out of here. Have not seen another human for hours now. I might be the last, but in the hope that there might be another, I leave this now so you don't have to waste any time. This is the only exit, the only way out of this hell by our own making. It was blown closed, it needs to be blown open. Don't bother digging, impossible, blow it up. The dynamite is locked in the arsenal. The detonator handle is somewhere down in the Roman tunnels, deeper in hell. I go now to try to retrieve them both. Though I do not know if you exist, I pray for you. Please extend me the same courtesy. Was wrong. Just found a new objectives. They'll be marked on your maps, and notes containing objectives will be highlighted in the notes list. Yeah, so... Not much happening there. So I guess we head... to the arsenal for now. Or attempt to, because... it's not going to be that easy. Just going to... clear a bit of a path here. Okay. Soldier quarters, mission storage, communications, and prison are that way. Arsenal's back that way. We do have an infirmary here. Oh, I bet you this is... This just, um... This is our door that was blocked. Yeah. Okay. I'll keep this open.
Officer quarters and maintenance. Potential little hiding spot, maybe. If we need to look at our watch here, so I've got 15 minutes of fuel. Now the arsenal, under emergency lockdown. Excellent. That's great. Oh, that scared me. Joubert. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, okay. So we have little um, traps and stuff in certain places, and these are different every time you play from my understanding. This is marked with an X. Now can I, like, disarm that somehow? I don't know if I can. I'm gonna try to be methodical here until things inevitably hit the wall. So this is them readying the thing to close it, maybe? Tunnel update from Joubert. Uh, engineers have broken through our storage area and into the old Roman tunnels. There is, we thought, structurally sound, deep, and I confess I was skeptical of this last point, but they do indeed lead in the direction of the German line. By September, we should be in position to launch a massive push from inside the tunnels. Perhaps of note, inside the tunnels, we found urns, Latin texts, etc. We'll do our best to preserve some materials for posterity. Through the storage area into the Roman tunnels. Explosive barrel there. Nice. Just trying to find fuel and, like, get in and out um, of the administration safe space with fuel in timely manner. Like, it's so stressful already. Okay, prisoner in custody. After raid of last evening, we have in custody some 20 German soldiers from the 4th Reserve Corps of the 2nd Army. This puts our cells past capacity. With one exception, I recommend they be shipped to the camps as soon as possible. Or as feasible. Prisoner 73014 I would like to hold. Before capture, he ripped his rank and insignia from his uniform so his rank remains unknown. Since capture, he has refused to say a word. I suspect he may be an officer or other important person. I believe once removed from his men, we can break him. Please advise. Okay. 73014. I don't know if that will be important or not. Oh my god. Should I assume that he is in that hole? So I'm going to take this fuel back. I think for me what I need to I need to really catch on quickly to is the layout and making sure that we're not having to rely on the map necessarily, but we're just able to follow the path that we that we know. Okay. Look at that timing. It's great. So, step number one.
is going to be pressing into those areas, trying to find fuel in a timely manner. Feels impossible already. Jeez. Didn't? Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. We're good. Okay. Shoe bear. An empty bottle. Distraction, perhaps. Shoe bear's final journal. To anyone who finds this, Fournier, our commanding officer, cowers next to me now. He's lost his mind to an abyss of fear. He repeats the same refrain over and over. Flee, flee, we must flee and seal the beast where it belongs. He wants to run to blow up the exit behind him, sealing the demon down here, the demon and our men. His constant refrain, it's getting to me. In that same void of terror, it's also overtaking me. To any of my men who see this, once we're free of this place, I'll get the arsenal code from him. I will get it, and I will radio it to you. Trapped down here with, the, with that beast, the arsenal may be your only hope. It's all I can do, all I have courage to do. Get to the communications room in the soldier's quarter. I'll hide there. Or hide there. I'll broadcast the code to you. Okay. Communications room in the soldier's quarter is actually our next objective then. Uh, July 14th night. Strange scratching sounds a few moments ago and it sounds like someone's pacing in the hallway. Probably Renard, drunk on the stash of wine I know he hides from us. Best I can confront him now. Either get him into bed to sleep it off or convince him to share a bottle or two with me. Next day. Cold fear runs through all our veins now. Fournier has terrorized the men for answers. They say they were asleep until Reynard screams. I believe him, of course. Fournier went so far as to accuse prisoner 73014. Same guy as, uh... Where was it? Yeah, right here. So this prisoner, 73014, is very special. Uh, of escaping a cell and committing the murder. Impossible. I worry about Fournier. His rage hides fear. He takes it out on the men and I can see no way to stop it. It breeds contempt. My mind slips back to the moment Reynard started screaming. How easily it could have been me. How easily it still could be. For the first time, I wish the order to the order to attack would come. I would rather face a thousand German guns than this nameless dread. Yeah, that thing's... Okay, so his claws are going through steel. That's great. There's gas here. So I think what I'm going to try and do from like a planning perspective is leave the doors open for rooms that we've been into. Be very careful for traps and stuff. Oh my god. Hello. And break this? Come on. Oh my, wow. LaRue's report. I'm now putting it into writing that I have reported to both my immediate superiors. Last evening, 14th May, I was assigned to aid the engineers in mapping the Roman tunnels. As I entered the deepest area of the tunnels, I noticed strange glowing liquid seeping from the walls. When I turned around, the walls of the tunnels themselves were suddenly gone, and I was standing in a vast plain of darkness. In the distance, there was a sickly light that seemed to be calling me forward. Between it and me, malformed shadows moved. I blinked again. It was gone. I was back in the tunnel. It lasted about a split second, but I am quite convinced that what I saw was no daydream. It was real. Since that experience, I felt haunted, like a part of me is still there, stuck in the tunnels. I keep seeing shapes moving at the edges of my vision. I'm formally requesting medical leave. Please help me. Yeah. 
look at all the drawings too of his what he was seeing. Oh nice. Delisle. It looks like our map did get updated, interestingly. Pocket bag. Oh nice. Okay, that's big. Oh no, am I out? Oh my god. Okay, so like, I think I'm just gonna have to throw stuff at these or jump them to deal with them. I can't go up and just dismantle them. Okay, okay. I see where we've come around to now. Yeah, okay, cool. That's where we witnessed our first death. Frick. I gotta stay quiet. I lock that? Yeah, I did actually. <sighs> yeah, I did. But I know where we are. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The problem is the problem is that it's not okay. The problem is that it's not okay. Okay. So, um mission storage, soldiers quarters. Those are both places we need to be going. So, dynamite in the arsenal here. He's in the uh, communications room in the soldiers' quarters. I don't have any fuel, so... Wish me luck. there and that's okay Come on baby give me some fuel give me some fuel oh there's f there's fuel in here these guys all have their little codes okay Delisle we can get into that 
name. Lambert. Now, um... The game is going to be dark. There's not much I can do about that, but, um... I recommend turning off your lights. That will help. Lockdown wheel. That's good. Travers, 7951. We have a bunch of grenades. 9th of July. I do not know the time, but dusk has fallen and still, of course, no word. When I asked the sergeant, he shrugged, as if I was asking about when it might next rain. These fools around me, laughing, drinking, arguing. D do they know what I've done? D do they suspect it? I feel they must all be guilty of something. And yet, they laugh, drink, argue. God knows what I've done. I wonder if his judgment could be worse than my own. So we're blaming ourselves for something. Presumably this, um, this monster. I guess. That's my... Literally, my guess. Um, I'm thinking about maybe going back to where those traps are. Okay, I got gas grenades. I got, okay, gas grenade and other grenade, but I can't pick them up currently. I potentially... Soldier, quarters, communications, yeah. If I do this, I think this is going to make a ton of noise. Okay, well, I mean, okay. I assume that's what this is for. Something's in here. Something's in here. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh no. I thought I could maybe jump in that hole. Frick. Oh my god. Okay. So when this happens, when this happens, I go back to the save. And the benefit of that. I'm just going to store this for now. The benefit of that is that I can um, get back to what those other areas that I needed to get to very quickly. If I ever reach a point where I have to do like a ton of backtracking or something, I'll maybe um, edit that for you guys. But I think in this situation, we can go back at those things and kind of carry on. And then I know that I can't jump into that hole from there as well. And I think that will be uh, beneficial. I'm going to open this up. And, uh, yeah, I think this is a good place to take a break, so let's do that. 
and we will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Bye.